Hi everyone, and welcome to this Friday's tutorial. And I was sketching around a little bit with my bio oil and my color pencils. And I was sketching this emperor's penguin with his chick. And uh, I got it from my encyclopedia with all kinds of animals. And I just loved that penguin. But then I stumbled across a new kind of paper that I wanted to test out so I picked out my pastel pencils again and this is the range of colors that I'm going to use on this new kind of paper and I made a sketch of course and here it is it's a pastel mud it's new to me I knew the me tiniest touch but but this is the pastel mud and it comes in four colors in this uh, sketchbook but they have all kinds of colors this is a gray and you have those greasy uh, sheets in between that will prevent your drawings from smudging this is the setup that I was drawing then there is a uh, sienna kind of color and a white and for this Friday's tutorial I'm going to use the brown paper now on my patreon page I already uh, put in a setup sketch so you can uh, measure out your setup if you want and you can support me there if you would like and you can get all kinds of prints and tips and real-time tutorials of course and this is my setup and I was already sketching when I was thinking oh I need to put on the camera but well the shapes are not that difficult as you can see um, they are uh, very uh, aerodynamic I think you call it um, uh, but still even if the shapes are really really simple they still uh, need to be correct so for the setup I'm using uh, a graphite pencil that I can still erase if I'm not happy with the lines because I need to get in those contours and the markings on the body now they have to be in correct place because these birds are very uh, simple of shape so make sure that all the markings and the outer contours are correct now of course I'm uh, using the helper lines so that is helping me a lot in putting in these two or actually three penguins because it's a mommy and a daddy and a little chick and for me it is symbolic for the love of the parents that they have for their little ones. Now, once you have uh, made your sketch and your setup on your paper, then it's time to pull out your pastel pencils or your uh, crayons or whatever you have. You can also try and use your palm pastels, for instance. But I wor first wanted to, um, well, see what this paper does for my pastel pencils and as I was saying pastel mud is new to me so I want to see how many uh, layers of pigments I can put in there what I do first is I draw in the background and I simply color in around the contours of the penguins that I've already put in and in, did, in, in that way um, I will be ready for coloring in the penguins so I first want to put in the back background and of course I'm choosing for this the very cold colors of white and blue it's supposed to be uh, the sky that is behind our little family and as you can see the whites and the blues are uh, really blending well together 
maybe I will put in a little bit of darker blue here in the bottom but I also want to uh, check how much I can stir around and put uh, other colors over it so here I'm picking up a, a darker gray it's still a bluish gray and I simply try checking out how they are blending together then I put in another layer a little bit of white and it's still getting in there so I can put actually put a lot of layers over each other and I like that a lot because when I'm not happy with some kind of color I can just go over it again and this is my blender stick and I also wanted to check how far I can rub this in and as you can see it is no problem at all I'm getting a nice and um, well gr kind of grainless background now that the background is uh, kind of there I can start coloring in the penguins themselves now what I try to do is as much as possible work from uh, left to right and from top to bottom in that way I do not get too much with my hand into the drawing and then greasing it up because once greased up your paper uh, the pigments of your pastel will not uh, go in there as easy so make sure not to go in too much with the palm of your hand now for the top of the necks of the penguins I'm using a very dark gray bl bl uh, blue but for the hats themselves I use the pure black and what I also need to do is uh, to sharpen them and keep them sharp as much as possible and for this drawing I'm using three kinds of pastel pencils and these are the um, Carbotellos, the Faber Castell and uh, a Koinor White and I've just uh, draw out two past, uh, white pastel pencils so I do not need to sharpen them as much Some colors are not in the Stabilo Carbotellos and some colors are not in the Faber Castells. So once putting in brands together, you get an awesome range of colors. Now, as you can see here, I'm already putting in that yellow that is on top of the head. And that's just awesome that color really pops out against the cold colors in the background and on the bird itself now what I do for the belly is I do try to put in some kind of a feathery look so I'm not making it as smooth as the background and then I'm simply blending in some gray some very light yellow and the whites together this is the side of the beak and this is pure a little bit of burnt sienna and a stripe of white now that's the spot where the little chick ticks on when it wants its dinner and then mommy or daddy will puke it out to him I go in with the very light yellow over the white and I try to make the um, the colors go together as smooth as possible because these birds are very aerodynamic and the feathers are all packed together but you can still see a little bit of structure so I do not want to make them all smooth I do want to draw in that structure of feathers a little bit 
and please take your time. Take as much time as you want. You can see there's a little bit of light on that dark hat on the left. And I simply ease in and you can see how how softly the yellow eases in into the white pigments. And it's very beautiful indeed. Let's take a look at the right penguin. First I put in an underlayment of white. And I simply put that in now for uh, the whole side of the penguin. And then a little, um, well, not as thick a layer for the belly. And the right penguin is a little bit more closer to us than the left penguin is. Once I've done that, I put in a little bit more pigments of white. But I do try to uh, not blend it all in. Then I go over that with a little bit of very light grey. As you can see here and then I take my very light yellow so that's the underlayment I also use it a little bit on the left now and then I run all over the drawing that's just uh, when I'm starting to draw on the right side and then all of a sudden I see something on the left and I just jump over to the left so that's something I cannot help. Now I'm closing in and this is uh, how I draw in those yellow spots. I simply go over the white and as you can see you can also blend in with your finger very easily. I put a lot of yellow pigment in there and then I ease in a little bit of red just a little bit but that really makes and gives that shine on the top of that hat then uh, I go to the easy part I simply uh, draw in the right side of the wing then I cover up the uh, the hat all with black then I go in with the burnt sienna again and then I put in a stripe of white Then I make sure that the right side has a little bit of structure of course and then I'm adding in the shadows that are just behind the wing and on the belly. Now that I have mommy and daddy in there I can start drawing in that little chick. Now maybe you've seen that film uh, Happy Feet with that little penguin and I loved that movie. So uh, they actually are as cute as that. So what I try to do here is to draw in that chick. But the chick has a lot of uh, baby feathers. I'm not sure how you call it in English. But I'm sure what you, uh, you know what I will mean. Uh, it's those uh, fluffy feathers that little chicks have. And so they are not aerodynamic at all yet, these little chickies. But uh, they are so, so cute. They have a little bit of a, a gray circle around their eye. So I also draw that in. And the face itself actually is white and that's very uh, contradicting to what the parents have because the parents have complete black faces and the little chickies have white faces so that's uh, well something that, that popped to my mind I, th I thought I really I really want to draw this because I love it so much and it's for me also a symbol of the love that mom and dad can have 
for the youngsters. So that's why I chose this composition of two parents looking down at their young, and uh, well, it kind of is like the love you can see here. Now the chickies also have a little bit of brown in their white feathers, so I put that in too. So the chickies look a little bit more smudgier, but ever so cute. Now once you've drawn uh, your parents and the little baby in, you can always go back and check your background again. I think it can use a little bit of more light so that the blackness of uh, the hats of the parents pop out even better. I draw in some baby feathers on the chick here, extra to make it extra fluffy. And here I put in extra white so that the hats pop out. And then it's all detail. I put in a little bit of extra uh, contour here on top and for the stripes on the side of course. I want to make sure that the top line is very very uh, sharp indeed so that that aerodynamic feel really gets in there. Mom and Dad do not have eyes, well they have eyes, but I do not draw these out. These are in the shadow, uh, but the little baby here in the center has its eye looking up. Okay, so far, so good. I hope you will give this drawing a try and it's so much fun to do. So I wish you all the luck with it and maybe you can check out my Patreon page for more tips and support me there but until that time I of course will see you again next Friday